Hey everyone, it's Cassie. Welcome back for another Pear Blossom Press video. Today we're going to be making a happy birthday tag and we're going to do that using a one light. We're also going to be using some other Pear Blossom Press goodies. We've got our HAI Supply uh, clay candlesticks and candle flames. It's going to be perfect for our birthday card. We're also using some black sentiment stock. You guys know I love this stuff for sentiments. And then we also have the Pear Blossom Press stamp set. We've got a couple of stamp sets from Trinity Stamps. We've got the Simple sentimental happy and birthday we're going to use the dies but we're also going to grab a couple little sentiments out of each of those and then we have our trinity stamps um, slimline tags we're going to use one of the tags in there along with some lindy's gang magical shakers so we're going to go ahead and get started to save a little time i did die cut out the words happy and birthday out of some watercolor cardstock stuck those back in place using some mint tape and then i'm using my waffle flower medium water media mat and i'm putting the little lindy's gang colors into a couple of those wells i'm separating them out just in case i get a little a little crazy with the water because <laughs> i don't want them to mix too much but those colors are um gustav's gold leaf das work wine and then we also have the head in the claw days <laughs> so this first one as you can guess is the gustav's gold leaf it comes in a kit you can buy it separate but it's also in the kissing climate climped I, I can't pronounce these things. I'm trying. But what I'm doing is I'm just grabbing with my paintbrush a little bit of water, sticking it into those wells and grabbing the color as I want. What's neat about these is that they do, they're do they little granules and then the little granules are kind of different colors. You can get some different ones in there. So it's not just all yellow in this one. You'll see that when I get to the letter A at the end of birthday. But we're going to keep working. We'll do the T. I'm basically just trying to go every third letter with these. And then that's why I picked three colors. And so now we'll do the A and you'll notice that I've got a little bit of blue in there. And it's kind of neat. Once it hits the water, it does that. So yeah, they're all a little bit like that, which is fun. And I like the, the splotchy look that it can give. I was trying to do an ombre look. Wasn't successful because I also had a cat in here once he realized that the water was going and this is something he could get messy in, he had to be a part of it. All right, so next I'm going to move on to that Head in the Claw Days. That comes from a set called Monet All Day, or you can get it separately as well. But we're going to do the ombre on the H. We're going to do it on the P. At least we're going to try. This is where I'm trying to hold Miles back. Oh, goodness, that cat. I'm telling you, he'll be the death of me. I do it on the I in birthday, However, we're not going to use the eye. We're actually going to turn that into the candle and the flame. I just colored it anyway, so I didn't get confused. But there we are. And then we'll do the H, and we'll also do that final Y. Boy, he really wants to be a part of it. In the end, Max ends up, or no, Miles ends up winning, and he ends up being up on the mat. You'll see that later on. Part of his fur up in the upper corner, but it's like, my goodness, kid. Give me some time. All right, so then the final color we're using is that Das Work Wine from the Kissing Klimt. Again, don't think I'm pronouncing that correctly, but these colors are so pretty. I've been slightly obsessed lately, so I've been using them in a lot of things, but they're fun to color with, fun to paint with, because it's a little bit different. It's a little different than just using regular watercolors. I am going to end up hitting this with my heat tool when all is said and done, because I need those to be nice and dry. It's just easier that way. It's easier to pull them out of there and it's also just easier in general. But that's what it looks like. I know it's a hot mess there because I clearly didn't follow the lines. But then we're going to go ahead and glue these onto the shadow. Again, those came from the Trinity Stamps Simply Sentimental Happy and Birthday set. If you follow me at all or watch me at all, you know that I really love the Simply Sentimental line from Trinity Stamps. They have them for so many different types of sentiments. And then you can combine them as well, which makes these so great. So clearly you could get them by themselves. You could get the dyes. Some of the dyes you could just get by themselves as well, but they work really well all together. I started with the B and then I ended up going to the Y and I'm going to work my way backwards with this one. And the reason for that is because I'm not doing the I. I think I could have lined it up fine, but for whatever reason, I just decided to go backwards. And they really start to pop once they get on that white shadow background. I'm using some reverse tweezers along with my Barely Art glue to get each of those letters attached down. But aren't those pretty? It's a really pretty color combination too. 
love that. The way the like a stormy blue goes with that purple and that dark golden yellow. It's really nice. And then we just have the R left and then the word happy. I won't show you the happy. I'll, I think I'll do the, the H, but you'll get the gist. I mean, you get the gist. Putting these together is actually quite simple. The shadow makes it very, very easy. All right, then we're going to bring in one of the candles. I decide to bring in a lighter blue to kind of match the blue we've already been using. I'm not going to attach it right away, but you will notice that candle is a little too big for our eye. We can work with that. And once we get to that, I'll show you. Okay, so I've gone ahead and already die cut out the tag out of some light blue cardstock along with some white cardstock because we'll need a base and a topper. I am going to use a couple sentiments from our Simply Sentimental Happy and Birthday on that black sentiment stock. So I did use an anti-static powder tool on the top of that. I've got some of my white detail embossing powder that I'm clearly going to just flick around. <laughs> and then I'll ink up my sentiments with some juicy embossing ink and then cover that with that white embossing powder. Then we'll hit that with our heat tool. But I love this black sentiment stock as I always say because it's such a smooth card stock that as long as you're using a anti-static powder tool, you're not going to have any issues with your powder sticking where you don't want it. And I'll wipe away the excess anti-static powder tool. And then I'm also going to trim those sentiments down so they can fit on the front of that tag. Once I've kind of figured out where those are going to go, I'll use my liquid glue. You could use foam tape, but remember, we're also going to need to use foam tape around our mechanism. So this is why I'm not using foam tape, otherwise this would be really thick. However, this isn't going in the mail, so I suppose I could make it as thick as I wanted. This is going to be something that attaches to a gift bag or a gift somehow. So we're just going to glue everything down. And I think that's why I like the idea of the tag so much. It could be reused. If you didn't sign it on the back, which I probably will anyway, uh, you could very easily... Once the recipient gets it, they could use it for somebody else. And then I'm going to attach the little tag reinforcer to the top. I just think that's a nice finishing touch. There you have the front. And then I'm going to grab in my paper piercer that is attached to my pickup stick. This is by Trinity Stamps as well, but it is in the Pear Blossom Press store. I'm gonna poke a hole where I need the light to come through. I'm gonna make sure and kind of wiggle that around so that we have a nice big open hole. I'll attach, or not attach, but I'll stick it on top of the white base and then I'll just use a pencil to mark where the light is gonna be. Before I go any further, I do bring in the Pear Blossom Press stamp and I'm gonna stamp the light bulb on the back because I just love it. Handmade for you and it's the little light bulb and then you can sign it if you want. We're gonna get our mechanism ready. I'll just stick that in. The plus just needs to be on with the plus and you're good to go. And then I'm gonna take my pencil and go right around our light. Oh, that worked out pretty good, didn't it? Lined up right with the base. <laughs> Couldn't do that again if I tried, probably. I don't know. And then we're going to use a little bit of double-sided adhesive so that we can attach our light down to our base. Just making sure that all that, the light goes where it's supposed to go. We're always checking and it looks good. So now I need to stamp the word push. And so I'm going to grab one of those from that Pear Blossom Press stamp. I love the ones that look like they're almost handwritten. I think those ones are my favorite. And then I'll use some VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink and stamp that down where the push button will be. Once again, testing. If it didn't go the way I wanted it to, what I usually do is just stamp it on another piece of paper and then attach it down. But I did okay. So here I've decided the clay candle needs to just be trimmed down. And because those are clay, you can do that. So I just made it a little shorter. We'll attach, or we'll put a little bit of glue down there, a line of it, and then we can attach our candle to the top of that. And then I'm going to take that world's best foam tape, and we are going to go all the way around the inside of the tag on the white paper, just avoiding the mechanism, obviously. And then 
another great thing about this tape is that the release paper comes off so easy. I mean, I've lost some fingernail polish on some of the other foam tapes, but this stuff I've never had a problem. Love it. Okay, but now I want to add one of those little candle flames to go over the top of that. One, it'll make it so it's not so bright and blinding, but it'll also kind of capture that light and make it look like a candle. It's really cool. So we're going to put a little bit of liquid glue around that circle, and then we will attach our flame to the top. I tried to use my pickup stick. It's too heavy for that. But I think that looks so good on there. I decide for some embellishment, I'm going to bring in a black pen. This is a memento pen. And I'm just going to make my own little stars and little embellishments around it. So I'm just making little retro stars everywhere. Now that that's done, I'll grab in some white ribbon that I have. And then I'm going to attach it to our tag holder. And then once I do that, this tag will be all ready to go to be sent on on a birthday gift. I love it. I'll probably make more of these in different colors, but isn't that fun? I love how that turned out. And I hope you do too. If you do, be sure to hit that like button. Definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And be sure to check out all that Pear Blossom Press has going on over on their blog, Facebook page, and Instagram for more crafty inspiration. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you soon.